hi guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Stella all right so in our previous video we drafted um, the pattern for this peplum blouse now in this video we'll go ahead and look at the different types of flare then we'll proceed to draft our flare then transfer our pattern to fabric and finally we will cut and sew okay so let's proceed into the various types of flares that we have all right so to begin we have um different types of flare okay now um you guys know as usual i like to write out okay for clarity purpose so we have um a 180 degrees flare but that's not what we're um, where we're starting so we have a 180 we have 360 we have 720 degrees flare okay then we have 1080 degrees flare and we also have 1440 degrees flare okay now for each of these flares is simply an addition of 360 degrees flare okay excluding the 180 degrees flare all right but the design that we're working with is a 720 degrees flare and a 720 degrees flare is simply a 360 degrees flare that is multiplied by two okay now let's proceed so um if you're working with a 360 degrees flare you will go ahead and divide your waist round by 6.28 please take note that 6.28 is a mathematical formula for a 360 degrees flare okay so you do your waist round divided by 6.28 and in this case my waist round is 36 now whatever the answer it gives you that's your radius for a 360 degrees flare but in this case we're working with a 720 degrees flare okay so the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and divide your waist round by two okay remember some 20 degrees flare is a, is, is a 360 degrees flare times two okay so we'll go ahead and divide your waist round by two okay and my waist round is 36 36 divided by two will give us 18. now we'll go ahead and divide the 18 with 6.28 okay and 18 divided by 6.28 will give us about 2.8 but i'll round that up to three inches okay so i repeat the same on the second half of my waist remember we divided um my waist round by two okay and we got 18 and 18. so um the first 18 we divided it with 6.28 we got three inches the second one we're dividing by 6.28 as well and we got three inches now the three inches is our radius okay so um i hope that is clear now let's proceed now the blouse length we're working with is 25 inches okay and the half length we're working with is 17 so um we'll simply subtract the 17 inches from the from my blouse length of 25 and we'll be left with eight inches okay now we will go ahead and add the radius of three inches to the eight inches and that will give us 11 inches now this is important so that you will know the extent of fabric that you need to fold okay this is one of the um this is one of the ways to um economize your fabric okay so you don't go wasting your fabric simply because you're cutting out flares all right but we will not just um, make use of the eight inches we need to add one inch allowance to that okay and out of this one inch allowance half inch will be for joining to the waist and half inch will be for hemming okay so what we have now is nine inches okay um now, when we add your 9 inches to the 3 inches radius, we will be left with, the total is 12 inches, okay? So, I'll come in with my fabric now and we will fold out 12 inches. Alright, so here we have it. Remember, it's advisable for you to do your, your markings on your lining or your interlining if you're working with a lace fabric, okay? So that if there's any need for correction, you still have a chance to do that right? So, I'll go ahead and fold, okay, so I'll go ahead and measure out 12 inches okay so that we can fold but because most of the fabrics um the edges are not straight so it's advisable you add extra 1.5 inches or 2 inches to that length now instead of us folding 12 inches we will fold at 14 inches okay this is to ensure that when you finally cut out your flare it's going to be a complete cycle okay so i'll go ahead and measure out um 14 inches okay then we will pin you guys know I like to pin. Let me tell us two things that will happen if you don't pin. Um, the fabric will most likely shift. And by the time you're done cutting out your flare, you will notice that um, one side is not equal. And we will not want that to happen. So as usual, we'll go ahead and pin down. Okay, it's just two pins or less. I mean, there's nothing like too much pinning anyway. 
all right so we just folded now we'll go ahead and fold it a second time remember we are cutting um a flare okay which is a circle so i'll also go ahead and measure out 14 inches and that's what we have there now i will pin it down as usual okay now we'll go ahead from the tip of the fabric we'll measure our radius of three inches okay then i will mark it i'll go ahead with the tape still placed at the tip of the lining i'll measure out my three inches and here we have it now we need to measure the length of the flare okay and remember our length is nine inches okay now note that you can place your tape on the radius and measure out your length or you take your tape back to the tip okay and you measure out 12 inches which is radius length three inches plus the length of the flare nine inches so whichever way you want to measure out your flare is correct either from the radius or from the very tip of the fabric that you folded okay and here we have it okay so i'll proceed to cut this out um using my scissors and um, i'll also cut out the radius all right and here we have it now i'll proceed to cut our first notch okay you need to notch all the points now i'll go ahead and cut extra one of this on the lining then i'll cut two of um this same flare okay on my fashion fabric so at the end we're having two of the linings and two of the fashion fabric okay and here we have it i'm done cutting them out all right so we have two flares on our fashion fabric and we have two as well um using the lining okay okay so i'll go ahead and open up just one side of the flare all right so i'm opening up just one side of the first flare okay and um here we have it now i will just go ahead and take off the pin so we'll see now i opened up just one side okay now this is for the first flare so i'll pick up the second one now for the second one first of all for this kind of fabric you need to indicate the wrong side because both the right side and the wrong side is looking alike okay so use your chalk and indicate it now for the second flare if you want your joining to appear in the center front you will go ahead and open up just one side okay but in this case i'm opening up the both sides of the second flare you remember for the first flare we opened up just one side okay but for this second one i'm opening up the both sides okay this is because I want my joinings to appear on the sides, okay, and not on the center front. So I'll go ahead and open up the second side, okay, of the second flare, okay. Now, I'll take off the pins and I'll show us exactly what I did, okay. So this is how we are going to have it when we are done. You remember we opened up the first flare, just one side. Now for the second one, this is how we are going to have it, okay. So the joinings will appear on the sides, all right, of the flare. So when it's time, we'll go ahead and join this. Now I'll repeat this exact thing on the lining. I'll open up the first lining just on one side. The second one, I'll open it on both sides. Then I'll go ahead and um, iron down my interfacing, okay, using my pressing iron. And um, we'll join, then I'll show us. Now let's also look at the the upper part okay so here we have it i went ahead to mark out our sewing lines okay and you guys know i like to do this so that we'll sew exactly on the allowance that we left i also marked out the one inch um zip allowance now i only interfaced the lining i remember i will always say it's optional you can interface both your main fabric and your lining it's your choice but in this case i will be interf i interfaced only the lining okay now i'll proceed to join them i'll join the center front to the side front i'll do the same thing on the back piece as well and i'll iron it okay open now i have a detailed video on how to do this joining i'll leave the link in the description box so um here we have it i'm done um joining okay so i joined all our pieces together i also pressed it open now if you pay attention to the to the side joinings you can see that i formed some sort of a triangle there okay this is to um this will help your waistline to relax well okay so i did it both on the chest line okay and on the waistline as well now i did the same thing on the fashion fabric so but we're coming with our flare now so i am done i joined the pieces like i illustrated earlier 
okay so this is the right side of the fashion fabric i'll show us the wrong side now so this is the wrong side i did the joining using one inch allowance now if you guys pay the attention you will notice that i didn't add any other allowance to the waist round that's because that's the thing with flares you always have something extra okay so that's why i didn't add now i did the same thing on the lining as well i joined those um pieces using one inch okay and i pressed it open as well now we'll be using crinoline now the width of this crinoline is two inches so we'll be attaching it to our flare when we're joining okay this will give it more volume all right so um I also have a detailed video on how I do my shaping okay it's the same method so but the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and remeasure your waistline to be sure that it is correct and in this case my waistline that I have there um, is 38 inches which is my actual waist round of 36 plus 2 inches um, for the zip allowance okay so we'll go ahead now and place the flares together right size facing each other like so okay so I'll align them right sides facing each other okay but I want um remember we'll be placing the crinoline on on the hemline okay while we are joining so I will be placing the crinoline on the side of the fashion fabric and not on the lining okay now I'll extend the crinoline outward maybe with about one inch okay because it can loosen so I'll extend the crinoline outward by one inch and then I'll start, I'll stitch it round using our half inch hemming allowance that we left. Now when I'm done, I'll flip it to the side of the lining and I will top stitch. Okay, and here we have it. Now, um, the next thing we need to do for the upper bodies, okay, is to go ahead and turn our neckline. And I also went ahead to mark out our half inch um, allowance round the neck. So we're going to be turning the necklines only. So we'll turn the neckline of the front and the neckline of the back. Okay, so the shoulder and the armhole or the arm side is going to remain open. Okay, now for the back neckline, when we um when it's time for me to stitch it, I will stop one inch before the zip allowance. Okay, because we are yet to fix our zip. Okay, so I'm stopping one inch before the zip allowance while um turning the back neckline okay and that's it okay so i'll do that and then i'll give it a good press all right and here we have it i'm done turning the necklines only okay that's my one inch that i left there at the back okay and then i gave it a gentle press not 100 percent pressing yet okay now another secret is when stitching this neckline you can go ahead and attach your hemming gum this will help it to remain flat okay now um this is also our flare so um i'm done turning the fashion fabric with the lining i also gave it a good press okay now we'll go ahead and join okay so the next thing for us to do is to join our flare to the half length okay and you know our pattern of joining is um fabric to fabric and lining to lining okay so i'll bring our flare now we are going to be joining the fashion fabric of the flare to the fashion fabric of the half length okay so i'll go ahead and separate the half length like so so i'll pick up the fashion fabric and we're going to be joining using half inch allowance okay so we are stitching from the zip allowance um straight to the other end of the zip allowance now we'll repeat the same thing on the lining um fabric as well okay then when i'm done i will go ahead and fix my zip okay and um give it a good press okay and here we have it i'm done um joining the flare to the half length okay i also went ahead to fix my zip okay then i'll still go ahead and give this a good press okay now the final thing we have is to fix the sleeve which i will do okay and here is the final look all right now the finishing of this um blouse is lovely so i made use of our normal pencil skirt okay i have the link. okay so i'll leave the link of the pencil skirt in the description box all right and that's it guys thank you for watching um kindly leave your comment in the comment section and you're sure i'll respond to them all right so kindly subscribe like and share okay and i'll see you in my next video bye